just coast for the next two years. <laughs> and then we gotta do another thing. Fulfill the campaign promise, all right? <laughs> um, so how does this tie to the Green Initiative? And you know, Jennifer talked about it a little bit. You've heard people say this. You've heard people say, if you wanna do big time finance, you go to New York and Wall Street, it makes sense. You wanna play big time politics, you go to Washington, D.C. and the Capitol. If you want to go into the entertainment business, you go to L.A. and Hollywood. If you want to get involved in the high-tech industry, you went to Silicon Valley. I honestly believe that we in Sacramento can be that next wave, not just in the city, but in the region. I think we can transform our city to the greenest region in the country. And you know that's bold, and that's big, and that would help put us on the map literally as well. And what does that all boil down to? It boils down to can we come together enough and make this a priority for our region? Not just our own individual interests. Not what's just good for my company or that company or the one across the street or the city of Sacramento. We've got to make sure for the collective good that we're going to come together to see if we can put Sacramento on the map as the greenest region in the country. And that's what this initiative is about. So I would ask everyone in here to mark your calendars for, March, for May 18th. May 18th is when we're kicking off this initiative. And it'll be from 2 to 4, 2 to 4 o'clock at the California History Museum. And Jennifer, we'll get you the information and maybe you can email it email yeah. to everyone. So 2 to 4, California History Museum, May 18th. We will be meeting every month, so May, June, July, all the way through the end of the year. Every month through the end of the year. And then come January, we will report out what our goals are, what our targets are for our area to become the greenest region in the country, as well as how we're going to implement and make that a reality. Everybody okay with that kind of big overview? Yes. Okay, so let me tell you what's in the initiative really quickly, and then I'll, I'll finish with another point. So in terms of what's in this initiative, we felt there would be five policy areas that we want to focus on. This is just giving you an overview. First policy area is energy. Second policy area is waste and recycling. Third policy area is water and nature, or water and open space, or water and urban forestry. The fourth policy area is urban design and green building. And then the fifth policy area is green tech or clean tech. You guys okay with the five policy areas? So those are the five policy areas. There's a couple guiding principles. You want to repeat them again for you? The last one. Uh, green tech or clean tech? The first two. <laughs> Water and nature, urban design, green building, and then clean, uh, clean tech or green tech. Those are five. Five policy areas. Everybody okay with that? So within those five policy areas, they're all integrated, but we want to separate them for a moment as we come up with our goals and our targets and what we do as a region. But if you if you say to, to the mayor of Sacramento, what should go through each of those policy areas? Number one, a regional approach, a regional economy. It can't just be the city of Sacramento. We've got a great relationship with West Sacramento Davis, if you go in that direction. If you go in north, we've got to get everything going north, out to Roseville and beyond. If you go east, we've got to go out all the way up around the county, Folsom, if you go south, Elk Grove and beyond. So it's got to be a regional effort. That's number one. And that should go through every policy area. Number two, <coughs> green jobs. The green economy, I'm going to end on that in a minute, but green jobs, it's really about how many jobs that we can create. Can we get this industry really going in terms of job creation? Number three is I believe very strongly we need to have a high green IQ, meaning can we educate the public? Can we educate ourselves? Can we determine what our personal responsibility is at work and at home? Can we educate our children? So a public awareness campaign in terms of the green IQ. That should go through. Again, we're not going to be a leader in this nation if we're not going to be smart about what it means to be green. Um, so that's number three in terms of that. Number four in terms of my, the fourth one is effective policy. That we're going to have to come up with key policy areas that are going to go across all the five 
Paul's here. It's a policy for, and the last one, just this overall notion of environment, that everything we're doing has to be smart for our environment. Everybody okay on that? So let's fast forward really quickly. I'll, I'll really end with this and then open up questions really quickly. At the end of the day, our unemployment rate in Sacramento is 13%, higher than the state average. Our foreclosure situation in our region is one of the worst in the country. Unemployment, foreclosure, worst and highest, not good. What's going to turn us around? In the past, what we've relied on is the government sector jobs and real estate. Both of those are being Im impacted in a very negative way right now. This is an interesting point I learned not too long ago. In our area, 42% of people either at some point in time worked or are working for a government, local or state, or have retired. That's 42%. That's a huge number. That just shows you how reliant we are on that industry. So I'm not going to pick on the state of California today because, again, they have to be a part of this solution as well. And then I talked about real estate. We know that. So we have to diversify our economy. And what do I believe that we should diversify to? Something green. And that's where this notion of the green tech gives us an advantage like nobody's business. Data point here, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong. We have, I believe, about 100 companies that are involved in green tech. 2,000 employees, almost doing over $700 million meaning venture capital from Silicon Valley coming and investing in these businesses. That is a big deal. We don't even know about it. Most of us have no idea that it's already happening kind of organically. If we can create, and it's not because of anything we've done. It. You know, if the government can do its part to create an environment to help that even happen more so, we should be able to take that to a whole other level. Okay, let's get back to the jobs and the economy. In, in California, Sacramento has been the leading job growth leader in green in the whole state. 83% growth over the last 10 plus years. Number one in the whole state in terms of green jobs in our, in our community. And we don't even, most people don't know that. We don't know what those jobs are. We don't know how to access them. So when I talk about jobs, we need, yes, we need low wage jobs, yes. We need medium wage and we need high wage. We need skills that go across and wages that go across. We can create that environment here. My last point to this group here in particular, this green movement must be something that the African American and Latino community grab a hold of. Get on board now. Don't let this train take too far, take off too far down the road and then we get on and we're in the caboose again. You gotta get on now. And I don't care when you leave here today, it's the only thing I would ask. If you don't know how to get involved to the degree that you'd like, just email somebody in my office. We will get you all the information so our green IQ starts to increase really quickly. And it doesn't matter what business that you have out here, everybody in here, you will be able to plug in literally to this green movement in our community. The city of Sacramento, raise your hand if you work for the city of Sacramento. So you can see we have about six employees in here and the team over here to the side. The city of Sacramento, we are making this our top commitment as a city when it comes to economic development. So again, to the African American community, I'm not gonna try to tick you off or the Latino community, but this has to be about social justice too, in my opinion, that we want a piece of this. And you have to have players at the table. And if you don't come out and maintain and find ways to get involved, your brother over here has a solar company. If we don't figure out a way to help this company grow and expand, and if you're not happy where you're at, maybe you can relocate in Sacramento. That's what I'm just if, we, if we can't figure out a way to make sure everyone in here is successful, then we're not doing our part. But you've got to do your part too. I know, I know that a lot of times we don't understand or we, we're told that it's cost prohibitive and it, it doesn't make sense. I am trying to tell you, I gave you an example. LA and Hollywood, Capitol DC, New York and Wall Street, this green movement isn't going anywhere. And we get a chance to grab a hold of it. 